Hey guys, it's Marion Cabasso. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, but one of my most popular uploads is the video that I did talking about how I take notes. This video has 20,000 views. Oh my goodness, 20,000 people have seen my face. That's crazy. But anyways, I thought I'd do a video where I do an in-depth review on some of the supplies that I talked about in the video because a lot of people had questions about the notebook binder in particular and I'm also going to talk about some pens that I really, really like. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first question that someone asked was how long did my notebooks take to come in? So it's it's been a while since I actually received the notebook, so I don't exactly remember how long they took to come in, but the website does say that the order ship in one to three business days so i would expect that it would take about a week to come in someone also asked if i would recommend these notebook binders for taking ap classes now personally my school does not offer ap we do college classes instead of ap so i cannot answer that question specifically because i've never taken an ap class but i have taken a college class and these notebooks held up wonderfully for that class. So these are actually my notes from the college psychology class that I took and it's perfect. Like I love this binder because you can flip it like that, you can flip it like that and it's really easy for studying and just amazing so it held up really really nicely for my college class so if you like were on the fence because you don't think it's gonna hold enough notes i think it holds a pretty decent amount of notes but then again i don't take a lot a lot of notes so that's that but if you know that you're a heavy note taker and you take a lot of notes then maybe you might want to get multiple notebooks of these and just keep them going the good thing about them is they are a very thick plastic so you can reuse them and you can just keep using them for classes like this is my notebook from that class but as the school year starts i'm going to actually empty this and put in new papers and use it for a different class and no one's gonna know because it literally is empty and it's clear and you can reuse it for as many years as you want, basically. You don't have to buy a new notebook every year, you just have to buy new inserts, paper inserts, in or just paper for these notebooks. So the next question or comment somebody left on this video was about how the SARS Sarasa pens and this notebook are a perfect combination and yes they are and this is actually the perfect time for me to talk about the Sarasa pens which are my favorite pens and my favorite pen brand if you've been on the fence about what pen brand you should get. I'm gonna just quickly go over some of my favorite pens. Got my pens, let's talk about them. So all of these are Sarasa pens except for one which is an honorable mention. So these are five pens that we're gonna talk about. First we're gonna start with the auto now. The Pilot G2 in 07. So Pilot G2 pens overall are really really good but I don't like the thicker 10 point pens. I like the 07 or the 05. The 05s are kind of hard to find but you can buy them like online but in store usually you find the 07s or the 10s so this pen so smooth it glides it's like butter on paper it's an amazing pen highly recommend and it's really cheap it's definitely the cheaper pen out of the bunch i know pilot g2 pens you know you can find them at like walmart or target while you can only find zebra sarasa pens like online on like amazon or jet pens the next one is the zebra sarasa clip pen in 03 so this one's really good if you write really small like if you have really small fine handwriting and you need a pen that kind of matches that this pen is amazing i don't use this as much just because my handwriting has actually gone and bigger over the years i know that's weird but like this pen just doesn't really do it for me anymore because it does skip if you write like bigger letters i don't know if that makes sense and it just it's not a good pen for if you write really fast notes i can write really fast so this pen just skips a lot but if you're a slow writer and you like taking your time with your letters and you write really tiny this pen is amazing it just skips if you write really fast that's it so the next pen is the zebra sarasa mark on in 05 so this this pen is really really good one of my favorites the mark on is just better than the regular clip pen because it dries faster and this pen does not smudge if you use a highlighter on top of it which is really really nice and it's just amazing perfect for everything bullet journaling notes homework whatever this pen is like 
the do-it-all pen and i literally have another one right here and i have another one in my pencil case because i just i love it so much amazing so this is the zebra sarasa study pen in 05 so smooth like if you were looking for the smoothest most buttery pen ever this is your girl so buttery perfect for just like like everything note taking I love this pen and I will be ordering more when I start doing my back to school shopping. Back to school videos coming soon, don't worry, they're coming, okay? And the last pen is the Zebra Sarasa Clip in 05. So this is the OG Clip pen, probably one of the first models that came out. It writes really well, perfect again for everyday use. This pen does skip a little bit if I haven't used it in a while. I know it's weird, but like if I use it every day, it doesn't skip. But if I take a break using it and then come back and use it, it skips a little bit. And all of these pens um, have little clip attachments to them. So the Zebra Sarasa, it really has like a just a clip mechanism the pilot g2 has something sort of like it it's just not as advanced but all the zebra sarasa pens have that clip mechanism so you can like clip it to your backpack or the inside of a pocket or the inside of your pencil case or your t-shirt zebra sarasa you can clip it to yourself if you really need to or like your jeans or so <laughs> little intermission we talked about that that's done. Hope you like my recommendations. So let's go over some other questions you guys had. So one person asked, does the notebook fold over? As in, can you fold the cover to the back when you're writing one page and see one page? Or does it need to be written flat? This notebook folds completely over on itself. As you can see, you can open it flat like this or you can pull it all the way back so you're only seeing one page. And the same thing as if you were in the middle of the notebook you can open it like this and just write on one page right here you can write on one page on this side it folds completely over and you can also just have it shut like this so it does fold completely over you can write on one side you can write on the other side and you can also just open it flat and use it like that and the covers are clear but they do have colored covers for anyone who's wondering they have a pink cover and it's still kind of clear it's like a pink clear and then a blue clear I think there's like a green clear and a red clear, but I could be wrong. I know for sure that they have a blue clear and a pink clear. So next question. And pen recommendations for lefties. All the pens that I just mentioned are perfect for lefties because all of them are quick drying, which means they won't smudge even when you're writing with your left hand. If you need like a pen that's uber quick drying, Zebra Sarasa Markon, and it does come in 04 and 03 too. So if you want a smaller pen, you can also have it just with the quick drying mechanism. And so someone asked about the size of the notebook. Okay, so this notebook is a B5 size and I was honestly confused about the B5 size, but um, in comparison, I'm going to get a regular sized 8.5 by 11 notebook and compare that to it. So this is a regular size notebook. It is a graph notebook, but just think of this as our regular size reference. And then this is a B5 size. So as you can see, when I line them up together, the B5 size is like probably maybe two inches squished in. It's not that big of a difference, but it's there. Because of the cover, you can't really see. The cover is just a little bit bigger than B5, but the paper is B5. So look at where the paper stops and where your regular size notebook ends, that's about the margin. It took a little bit of time getting used to because it, it is smaller, like it feels smaller when you're writing it, but it's not that big of a difference that like, you know, I'd be like, mm, you know. And I will have links to all the products that I mentioned in this video down below. So if you want to have just direct access to it, it will be down below. But someone asked about how many sheets of paper would fit into this notebook. So the website says that about 100 sheets of paper will fit into this notebook. But I think that you could fit more. You just wouldn't be able like to like turn it over, if that makes sense. Like you'd only be open to flip the pages like this. And even then it would be hard because the rings are not very big at all. And that's the only thing I would say to the makers or anything like if they could make the rings bigger so it could fit more sheets of paper that would be great but they i think 
the makers of this notebook binder were really focused on making this compact and perfect for every day because this is so lightweight and since i no longer carry a binder with me to school my backpack literally weighs less than a pound which is great if you find yourself having a lot of neck and back pain from carrying your backpack all the time so someone asked where can you find these notebooks if you can find them at walmart so as far as i know walmart does not sell these notebooks but i know that you can get real legit ones from jetpens.com which is a stationery store they sell a bunch of notebooks and highlighters and pens and it's where i get my pens and notebooks and paper but i also do know that amazon has them the only thing with amazon is that you might encounter some sellers who are trying to sell fakes of this product so just be careful with amazon so someone also asked where would you store the papers like finished papers once they're filled so this is actually something that i'm still trying to figure out i think what i might do is have a folder folder that I just put finished notes in like a regular folder so someone also asked how many notebooks should they have like should they have one for each subject so personally I did buy one for each subject when I first bought these notebooks but now looking back at it I didn't need to because I only really used the notebooks for two classes so I really only needed two but since I bought them I can still use them for years to come and someone also asked how do I have my handwriting so neat I will be making a video on how to perfect your handwriting what I did do is I just looked at people's handwriting who I thought were pretty and I kind of copied <laughs> how they wrote their letters and then I just did it for a really long time so those are all the comments I feel like I I hope I answered all the questions and if you guys want to just hear anything more from me about any of these products, be sure to let me know. My back to school videos are coming soon. Don't worry. I know everybody on their mother on YouTube is already putting up their back to school hauls, but I don't go back until August 30th. So when I quit work to go back to school, you guys will see my haul. But until then, be patient, wait, good things come to those who wait. So yeah, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.